doing the launch video for Lemur 2, which is kind of our new flagship drone. Showing it how it would actually be used in the field on a real small color. We're about to film the first shot. Uh, the people are there and get to the house. They get in the house and uh, they'll run away somewhere. What's happening right now is we've uh, been on the run to the cop and broke into this house. They're launching the lemur drone into the house. So what they're doing is breaking a window, coming in, and as we're looking for the cops, they've already launched the drone. So we're setting up for the hero shot. The drone just got knocked down by the suspect. The drone kicks into turtle mode, flips itself over, and comes up for that heroic shot we were looking for. We had to improvise a little bit. The room just wasn't quite big enough to pull the shot off that I wanted. So we're redressing the area. We're a bit behind schedule, but I think we'll be all right. Action on the drone. I'm the maintenance and props installer. I'm basically uh, installing a tempered glass for a scene for a drone to come in and shatter and enter the room. So that's the main portion of all this. The little fool you, it's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> it looks like we're gonna break the glass for real. So we need to protect the camera. So we have like a nice clear glass in front of the lens. So we're just gonna position the drone in uh, basically position hold mode. Uh -huh. and kind of it no one goes over there at all, yep. okay? We can cut and roll from here. Drone's looking better, going in. All right. We've got a three to four window clear for breach. We've completed a bunch of stuff inside. Now we're moving outdoors. We're filming with a Bearcat, uh, a mock SWAT team, and uh, yeah, about to begin some drone flights. So we are about to shoot this amazing SWAT vehicle. We're getting everything ready. We're kind of running through logistics of what's going on, rehearsing it. We're about to make it rain too. It's like 40 degrees out. So like no one can get these type of vehicles on set. So that's how we do. Really special shoot. Very articulate, Mike, thank you. Yeah, or like he said, rock and roll. <laughs> What I have behind me is the Linko Bearcat, uh, manufactured in the United States. This is a what we call in the SWAT community the ARV or the Armored Rescue Vehicle. These vehicles are used for not only uh, rescue capabilities but also protect the team when we're out on barricades, such as the one we're filming with the Lemur tonight. Yes. Yeah. Keep going that way. Now it is a Mars landing. It's beautiful, you guys. It's a specialty aerial light that we put up whenever we can't have cranes and lights on cranes and things like that for very, very sensitive locations. It currently uses two 1200-watt HMI globes inside the balloon. You just fill it up with helium and send it into the sky. Hey, what's up? This is Mike. We're going to be flying, and the shot is going to be basically the picture drone that's um, being deployed by SWAT team, launched from the top of that barricade and flown over the tree towards the house. I'll be tracking the drone with, uh, with this beautiful machinery. Our goal is to always locate, isolate, and communicate with suspects in those particular situations. And, and that's what this commercial is basically here to highlight about our drone, uh, is the de-escalation efforts that we're putting in to this technology to help tactical teams and police departments, first responders all across the world accomplish today.